everybody, it's Carla, All Nice Active Schools Coordinator with High Lake Highland. Today's home game has got to be one of my favourites so far. Um, it's competitive, it's going to test your aim and target skills that we've all been practising at home. It's also potentially going to test your patience. So join us today as we build and play our very own indoor croquet. To create your indoor croquet hoops, you are going to need three bits of paper, a pair of scissors, some calendar in pens or pencils, some empty toilet roll holders, and finally some tape. something of similar shape and size, something that's going to be able to go through your hoops. To pass the ball through the hoops, you are either going to need a putter or a hockey stick, something that you're going to be able to use like a mallet, as you would do in indoor croquet or in long croquet, to hit your ball through your hoops. So the aim of indoor croquet is very, very simple. Using your putter or a mallet, you want to hit the ball through the hoops you have made inside in an order sequence, starting with number one, moving to number two, and eventually getting to number 12. Depending on the size of your house and the size of the playing area that you're using, you might not want to use 12 hoops. Today, in fact, I'm only using 10, but try and be creative. You can even have your route starting upstairs, coming down the stairs, and ending in your kitchen or living room. You can make it harder by adding in the toilet tubes, or you can have a chair going over some of your hoops as well. Also, if you don't have enough space for 12, and actually maybe you only have space for six, then run your game in order of six, one through to six, and then retreat back on your course and go six, five, four, three, two, one, finishing at number one, and that way you get a whole game in. quickly go through some rules and different ways you can play this game so that you can get the maximum amount of fun. First of all, you can play this game individually. Pass the ball through each of your hoops in order sequence and count to see how many hits it takes for you to reach the very end of your target or your hoops. You can also play this with others, whether that just be as doubles or even more players than that. Take it in turns to take your shots. The same as if you were playing with singles though, you're gonna add up your score, count how many hits it takes for you to complete the task. As you can imagine, the person that takes the least amount of hits and finishes the course first will win. Alternatively, if you are playing with other people, instead of counting your score, you will count the number of hoops that you win. You will compete, taking it in turns to see who can win each hoop. If player A, passes their ball through the first hoop, player A wins that hoop. They then restart the game and move on to hoop number two. If player two manages to win that hoop, then the score is one each. Keep playing all the hoops to see who can win the most number of hoops. I'm ready to go, I have my golf ball, I've got my putter, um, I've even laid out my track and all my hoops with some ob other obstacles in the way there also. Let's see how many hits it takes me to complete my indoor croquet.
did my game of indoor croquet playing it as a single this time and I managed to get 32. I'm going to try again see if I can beat my own score. Um, a couple of notes just to bear in mind for when you're playing this game, whether it's on wood or carpet floor you may find that your ball runs further than you really want to, but you must play your shot from wherever it lands. If it does get stuck somewhere or land somewhere that it becomes a bit awkward to take that shot from, take it away from that spot to an agreed area with your opponent, take your shot from there. Um, also it doesn't matter which side your ball goes through of your hoop as long as it goes through in the correct number sequence, 1 through to 12, or for me, as it was today, 1 through to 10. It, send us in what you do. Send us in some photographs or a video of you completing your task and your indoor croquet challenge. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in for another home game. I hope you're well. Please stay safe, stay active, and stay in touch. Craig, do you want a game of indoor croquet now? Yeah, let's go.